Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make this animation with using After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and first one, let's select this cap layer and go to layer, new and create new object. And hold control, double click pen behind icon for move the anchor point center. Click station tool and let's make little linking. First select this head layer. Let's zoom in here and go to solo. Select anchor point, move to down. Click station tool and let's link to layer body. And select body, go to solo. Let's move the anchor point down, click station tool, unsolo, and select this layer glass. Let's link to head layer, select eyes, link to also head layer, and eyebrow, link to head layer. So in this time, select this foot 2 and foot 1 layers. Let's link to body, select body, let's see. Okay, select layer 1, link to also body. And select hand layer, link to body. Let's select body and change link to null object. And select chair 2, also link to null object. So in this time, select this laptop layer, also link to null object. And select lamp, link to null object. And objects, link to null object. Select null. And let's see. Okay, select this cup layer, link to null, and select this table, link to also null object, select null, let's see. Okay, so select this null, let's press P, and move to left, and create new position in keyframe, go to one second, and let's enable title action save, and move to center. Okay, so select keyframes, make easy, or click F9. And select last shift frame, move to right, go to graph editor and select this graph. Let's make graph like this. Let's see. Okay, let's change graph like this. Let's select first shift frame. Let's move right a little bit for more natural. Okay, back to shift frame, select last shift frame, move to left. So, in this time, let's select this layer body and press R, open rotation, make rotation two frame and don't forget to select this foot two and foot one, link to null object and select body. Let's change rotation. Okay, and move to left. Let's see timing. Okay, and right now, let's go to 10 two frames. For use shortcut, you can use hold shift, press page down in keyboard or go to 20 Q frames and change this 10. Again, go to 10 Q frame, change minus five. Again, 10 Q frame, change 2.5. And last Q frame, change zero. Select Q frames, make easy. Let's see. Okay, so select Q frames, let's move to right. Nice. Okay, so in this time, select hand layer and go to solo. Move to anchor point here, center and up. Click station tool and unsolo. And let's press R, chain rotation. And go to back, make rotation Q frame. And let's, let's see timing. Let's move to here. And go to next Q frame, change rotation. Again, go 10 Q frames, chain rotation like this, and again, change zero. Select Q frames, make easy. Let's see. Okay, so select Q frames, move to the left, and these Q frames. Nice. And select this head layer, press R, chain rotation, go to here, and make rotation Q frame. Go to next keyframe here. We can follow this body keyframes and change rotation 10 or 15. And go to next keyframe, change minus 8. And next keyframe, change 4. And next keyframe, change 0. Say keyframes, make easy. Let's see. 
Okay, so for random animation, select these last four chill frames, hold Alt, move to right, and move to right a little bit. Okay, that's good. And select these foot layers, select foot, let's chain name one, and go to two foot layers solo. Select foot one. Okay, go to anchor point, move to anchor point here, and select foot two. Move the anchor point here, click station 2 and unsolo. Select two foot layers, press R and let's chain rotation. Okay. And make rotation two frames, move to left. And here let's change like this. And next two frame, change minus 5. And next shift frame chain 2.5 and last shift frame chain 0. Say so shift frames make easy. Okay, and select these foot one layers and move to left for random animation. Nice. Okay, and select this laptop layer. And let's press P, make new pass in Q frame. And move to up. Let's move to up like this. And go to 10 frames. Move to down. Let's zoom in here. Okay, let's move to down. Go to 3 Q frames. For go to frame by frame Q frames, use page down keyboard. 1, 2, 3. And move to up. Again, 1, 2, 3. Select this middle Q frame, copy pass. And make Q frames easy. Let's select work area. And zoom into Q frames and let's see. Okay, we have problem with Q frames. Select four Q frames, right mouse, Q frame interpolation, change current settings to linear, click OK. And let's say again. Okay, and for create natural failing animation, select four Q frames again, go to graph editor and select first Q frame. Let's move to right and select second Q frame. Let's Make like this for realistic failing. Nice. Let's move to the left a little bit. Okay, back to two frames. Go to first second, hold shift, press R. Make rotation two frame and chain rotation like this. And move to up. And go to here, change minus four. And next two frame, change two. And last two frame, change zero. Say so two frames make easy and move to right these rotations. Nice, very natural. Select this laptop two frames and let's see timing. Okay, in this time let's move to the left. Nice, let's see. Okay, that's good. Right now select this head layer and make rotation two frame go to 10 two frames and let's Chain rotation like this for look to up and move to right a little bit. Okay, and here let's create new rotation two frame and go to next two frame and chain rotation like this. Okay, select work area. Nice, and in this time go to here. Let's hold shift, press P, make new pass in Q frame, and go to middle, move to down, go to next Q frame, say first Q frame, copy pass for bounce animation, and make Q frames easy. Let's zoom into Q frames, and let's zoom in here. Nice. And right now, let's create new pass in Q frame, and go to here, and let's move to center. For fix this problem. Nice, very good. And in this time, select his body. Let's create new rotation two frame. Go to here. Let's change minus six. Let's see. And here, let's create new rotation. Go to next two frame. Change three. Nice. And select body. Let's add bounce. In this time, let's hold shape, press P, make new passing Q frame, 
go to middle, move to down by default bounce animation, go to next keyframe, select first keyframe, copy pass, and select middle keyframe, move to left, and make keyframes easy. Let's see. Let's see full animation. Okay, that's good. Select this hand layer, make rotation keyframe, go to 10 keyframes, let's chain rotation like this. Again, go 10 keyframes, change 0. For click animation, go to 3 keyframes, 1, 2, 3, and chain rotation minus 4. Again, go to 3 keyframes, change 0. And select work area. Okay, so select two frames, go to graph editor, and let's see graph. Okay, select this first two frame and make graph like this. Okay, and this two frame. Back to two frames, select this last four two frames, move to left, and this two frames move to left. Okay, that's good. And Select by the layer, make rotation two frame, and go to 10 two frames, change minus five, and select these three two frames for bounce, copy and paste here. And select this laptop layer, and select these four position two frames, go to last position two frame, and move to left a little bit. Okay, so select this head layer. Here, let's create new rotation two frame. Go 10 two frame, change zero. And let's go to back and create new position two frame. Go to middle, move to down, go to next two frame, select first two frame, copy pass. Nice, and finally select this body. Create rotation two frame, go 10 two frame, change zero. Select three passing two frames, copy and paste here. And select two frame, move to right a little bit. And this time, let's add math animation. I have nine math animations. For example, let's select three and let's double click for C. Okay. Let's hold Ctrl A, close keyframe settings, and go to first second or go to here. Select layer three. Let's drag and drop here and move to up. Chain scale. Press S. Chain scale. Let's put here. Okay, and let's link to head layer. Okay, and right now select this layer 3, go to edit and split layer or control shift D and delete, can use layer 7, let's drag and drop, move to right and select this layer 3, press S, let's copy scale value, select layer 7, press S, control V, also let's put here and don't find a link to head layer. Again, let's control V. Okay. Let's see. Let's preview animation. Okay, that's good. And in this time, select these eyes. Let's press S, click this icon, make scale two frame, and go to three two frames, one to three, change scale five, go to three two frames, one to three, change 100%. And select two frames, let's copy. And let's timing. Let's paste here. And here. Okay, and let's here for paste. Nice. Select these eyebrow layers. In this time, let's press P, make new passing two frame, and go to here. And let's move to up. Okay, and here let's create new passing two frame. Got five two frames. 
and move to down for angry eyes. Okay, and create new passing two frame again. Go to here and move it up. And select these eyes. Let's hold shift press P. And in this time, let's create new passing two frame and go to five Q frames and move it up. Okay, and here let's create new passing two frame. Got five Q frames and move to down. Okay, and right now let's create new passing Q frame. Got two Q frames and move to center. So, guys, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video, and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.